Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Planet Becky and welcome back to the Basic Build series. Today's episode is the Bengal Tiger and I'm really excited for this episode. Let's jump straight in. So friends, for this series we are learning to build in Planet Zoo. Um, I have this game for about three years now and I realised the whole purpose of this is because I wanted to build a detailed zoo, realised I'm not very good at building and I wanted something to be able to show people that I can do it, I can, and not just people, myself as well, to show myself that I actually can do this because it was difficult building certain things so I was like well you know here we are we're learning to build in this game and there's a lot about this that I, I don't really know um so for this um episode we are building the Bengal Tigers and I had an idea in my head and I was like I'm just gonna see how this plays out so if you can see those buildings over the back there they are the um prefabbed staff builded stuff builded staff buildings and i was like they look so good i really wish i could kind of build something similar to that so they are what i used as inspiration for this um i also knew that i wanted like a little viewing area like a little almost like a little house inside where um, they could sleep and the, the people could go through and view them and I've often seen in there's some zoos where they'll have like a certain place where you can go to view them and I was like that would be so cool so I used the idea of the houses over the back there to inspire this um I kind of just took it from there I I didn't really have much of an idea in my mind I just knew that I wanted to build something kind of cool um this series is like really challenging I was looking through all of the design pieces for this I was trying to like work out like what I wanted what would work i was looking at the houses the prefabs and how they built them because that is one thing that i'm really really learning is like how how they kind of work because i no idea um you can see me here just experimenting with some different things i really love the fact that you can change the color of things in this game i just think it makes everything so much better um, I did then start thinking, oh, I don't, I don't know if I like the blue. I think it's too bright. Maybe it would do like a brown. And then I was like, I just, like nothing is kind of working. So I stuck with the blue. Um, let me know if you would have stuck with the blue or if you would have gone with a different colour. Um, yeah, it was challenging and then I was like no do you know what will make this look really nice is a proper roof the proper roof will make that look way better so that's what I did um once again building roofs I struggled with it more than I thought I would um but I think in the end I think it actually did look really good I think for me what it is is finding out how to build the different pieces like how to how to connect different types of roofing and everything like that but in the end I went with this and I thought it actually looked pretty good you've got to get those roof trims get the small details in there because they do just make everything look just a little bit better just makes it look like an actual building rather than really weird um so yeah so the whole purpose of this and I do think I am improving slowly, 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 slowly. I do think I am improving a little bit. So the whole purpose of this is basically to teach me how to build within the game, how to create all of these different things. I see all of these creators that do these amazing, amazing, amazing builds. And then I'm like, 
oh, how do you do that? Because I have no idea. Um, and yeah, so while I'm actually building these, um, I'm actually, do you know, I think when I was building this, I was actually watching Call the Midwife. I love Call the Midwife so much. Um, but while I'm building these, I'm often like watching TV or I'm just like chilling out. Um, and it's actually like a really relaxing thing to do. I didn't think I would actually enjoy it as much as I have. But do you know something? I actually have like really, really, really enjoyed this whole like series of like building, which has kind of shocked me a little bit. I thought, you know, I would find it a little bit tedious. Like I'm doing the same thing, I'm building. But actually, I'm actually finding it really relaxing. More than anything. So for this build, I just wanted to make the main part of this build the entrance bit where you can like walk through and view them sleeping and see them in there. Um, I did want like an outside area as well. Um, once again, you've got a quarantine. I really then realised I'd hired zero staff, um, which was really, really good. A good job me. Um, yeah, so I'm just waiting for these animals to pass their quarantine so I can get them in and just make sure that everything's okay. Um, I knew that I kind of wanted some outdoor viewing areas, but I didn't want like loads and loads. I then realised I hadn't put the glass in this window <laughs> and I was like, oh, oh no, they could just jump out of that. Although it didn't say that they could, which I found quite interesting. It didn't say that they could just jump out. Um, but I really like this idea of having like a tunnel going through... Um, yeah, just going through. And so, once again, I just wanted to put some more decoration on here. And I didn't know what to do at all. I just couldn't get it. And I really liked that original piece that we were looking at. And I was like, do you know what? That would look really nice if I, like, cut the building in half. So, to give it that little, little bit of something to just give it that oomph, if that makes... I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, that's what I wanted to do for this just yeah I, I'm so happy with how this build turned out in the end um I think these pieces in this game are so so pretty um and there are so many cool pieces that I have never used before and I'm really excited to kind of experiment and try different pieces different I've never worked I don't think I've, I think this was called like the plaster um, wall pieces. I don't think I've ever worked with those before and making your buildings all different colours. Um, I've seen like with the European pack people have made like the backgrounds of their like European buildings out of this plaster because it make you can do like all these different colours and I was like that is so clever and like just learning how to look at these things and going well this is like a best way to do that and so so good. Um, I am taking a lot of inspiration from Google Images, specifically if anyone has like posted their like um, like builds on Reddit, often they come up, and oh my goodness, I'm like blown away by it. Um, so yeah, I wanted this little area here to be like a little bit of a, almost like a little garden. Um, you often get places in zoos where there's like a little bit of like space that is unused space by animals but there isn't necessarily anything there and often they'll put in like some form of decoration they'll put in some form of fencing with something behind it i know at one of the zoos that i go to often is they have like a whole area where they do um, like prehistoric animals. And I was like, that's really cool. I wish I could kind of get that sort of a thing in. Anyway, so I knew I wanted a swimming area because Bengal tigers can actually swim and they're actually really strong swimmers. Um, so I, I knew that I wanted to have that in there. Um, 
especially to keep up like their enrichment and things like that I don't know if the zoo that I go to quite regularly has Bengal tigers but they definitely do have some form of tigers I, th I think they probably are Bengal tigers actually um, and they have like a massive swimming area because apparently they really love swimming um, one technique I really like using for decorating um, like the floor there I know decorating is like painting the terrain is um, doing your mud first like your, your soil first and put that like all over and then if you lower the opacity of the paint for your grasses or anything like that then it looks just a little bit more natural um, I really liked the idea of doing like, a feeding platform because obviously your tigers they like to climb and at the zoo that I like to go to they have these massive massive platforms for tigers to sit on and you can see them really really well sitting like right at the top of them they just sit there and just stare down at you and I think it's so great so I knew that I kind of wanted like a big feeding platform to put these on I probably could have done like a, a climbing area outside but I knew that I at least wanted a feeding platform and then for plants I just wanted to make it look natural not super over the top with anything making it look as if it's lived in at least um, one thing I would like to really I, I think would be really cool and I noticed this a lot in zoos particularly not necessarily out in the wild but specifically in zoos you often get like tread paths I guess they're called where uh, if an animal walks a certain route a lot, so for example at one of the zoos that I go to, um, the animals sit, they walk um, up and down in front of where the glass is and they walk and they pace it. They walk up and down and up and down and the ground that's underneath there is like uh, more muddy than it is grass because obviously it's a trodden path quite a lot. and. I thought that would be a really cool feature maybe in the future for Planet Zoo because that is something that's quite common where over time the terrain will change depending on how the animals interact with the terrain. So I don't think that's in the game at the moment but I think that would be a really cool addition um, to the game to be able to see it where the animals are like walking and where they are interacting with the most. Um, I think that would be a really cool thing. Um, so this little garden area, I I didn't know what I really wanted from it. Um, I didn't know like what to put in it. And I know that quite often people use these like prop pieces, and I don't think I'd ever really used them before. I was thinking about it after, and I was like, Do you know, what? I don't know if I've ever used some of these prop pieces, and they are so great. And then. Um, I really just wanted to make this like a gardeny field air feet field. I don't know. Feeling air feeling? Whatever the word is. Um like a gar like an overgrown sort of feeling. That's what I wanted you to get when you looked at this area. Is that you're like, oh that area is a little bit overgrown, not really kept very well. That's the vibe I was going for. Um, I wasn't going for a neat and pristine like you would maybe see in like if you're doing like a classical um, themed zoo. I really wanted to go for a just very like overgrown sort of feeling. Feeling really isn't the right word, but I don't know what the word is. Comment down below if you can help the gal out of it. Um, so once again, getting that education in, keeping it really nice and simple. I really loved that I could put these education things in right as they came in. And now one thing that I wanted to work on a little bit in this one is the lighting. I Maybe I need to watch some more tutorials on how to properly light things. I was thinking maybe these LED bars. Um, I don't know. I ended up deleting them in a second you'll see. I just didn't really like how they look. Because the light kind of went through the tiles and I was like, I don't know. 
but I did know that I wanted it to be lit up somehow. Um, but I just, I didn't know how. I could not work out how to properly do the lighting through this. And some people are absolutely amazing at lighting. Um, yeah, I just could not work it out. And I often do these like floor pieces and then like sink them down a little bit to give it like a glow. Um, but that's not really what I wanted, so maybe I need to watch a tutorial or something on how to properly do lighting in Planet Zoo and making it look really professional and really good. But in the end, I'm actually like really happy with how this whole thing turned out. I was actually really impressed with how the building looked as well, considering I really kind of struggled with it. Um, once again, it's just one of those things of I wanted to make it look really, really cool. Uh, I don't know if I overdid it at all um, or anything like that, but do you know what? I had so much fun building this one and I do think, I do genuinely think it looks really good and I'm really happy with it. Um, so yeah, this is how it turned out. Um, Funnily enough, when I was like watching this like like animals build through, I, I actually got I think it was either twins or triplets. Oh my goodness, the baby tigers in this game are just adorable. Oh, we're going through the through the food area here. That's fine. There we go. Look at how cute. And I love that they have like interacted with this kind of thing because that is exactly how tigers interact with kind of things. They just sit in the sun and like bask in the UV lights. Like look at that, just in the sunlight, chilling out. I love it. Um yeah guys comment down below what would you have done better? What would you have changed about this? I I'm genuinely really impressed with myself for this build. I love that they interact with absolutely everything you can see here and i just think it looks so bright and colorful um anyway almost forgot our fun fact about bengal tigers so did you know that bengal tigers can run up to 40 miles an hour and they can't hold that speed for a long time so they're definitely sprinters and not distance runners but they can get up to 40 miles an hour that's pretty quick um and once again they are great swimmers and most of them are found in India and I just think they're such cool animals and I would I don't think I'd ever want to encounter one in the wild and no thank you um but they're just so cute um I like them in the game I won't see them out in the wild anytime soon guys thank you so so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe leave me a comment down below on what you thought of the video and don't forget to click on that notification bell and i will see you in the next one friends bye